Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So in this video we will be talking about our current affairs series in which what we do we daily discuss MCQs from current affairs perspective. So today is 19 November so let's see what are the questions for today. So the first question is Starlink network project is launched by A NASA B C N C S A C ISRO D SpaceX. So friends answer is D SpaceX. So Starlink is an uh, network project that uh, sorry uh, that is launched by SpaceX. Uh, so the answer should be D. So Starlink is basically a satellite constitutional development constitution const satellite const constellational development project underway by uh, undertaken by the American company SpaceX to develop a low cost high performance satellite bus and requisite customer ground trans receivers to implement a new space based internet communication system so uh, SpaceX last week fired a spray of 60 satellites into orbit to eventually evolve into a constellation of nearly 12,000 satellites so which a which are aimed at providing low cost and uh, reliable space based internet services to the world so total cost is, is around 60 billion dollars so as detailed in through in a 2016 revenue projection obtained by the Wall Street Journal so at SpaceX estimated by 2025 it uh, its launch services would be pulling down approximately 5 billion dollar in revenue which was dwarfed by the project 30 billion dollar for its Starlink internet internet services so uh, several other private companies too have such plans for space based internet services so these include amazon oneweb and o3b apparently named for the other 3 billion each involving large constellation, constellations of satellites in lower and middle earth orbits so but these projects are very small uh, small as compared to starlink so then there is debris problem so you might be aware of the fact that a uh, lot of uh, debris is generated in the space so that uh, that could cause uh, difficulty in future so you can read about it by pausing the video now let's move to the next question next let's consider the following statement first according to the 2019 driving cities index two indian city cities mumbai and kolkata are among the world's worst cities to drive in uh, second is the 2019 driving cities index was released by european union car, european car parts retailer mr roto and uh, third is Calgary in Canada is named uh, the best city for driving around the world. So we have to choose that which of the above statements is correct. So friends, both uh, uh, oh sorry, all of these statements are correct. Yes, according to the according to the index, uh, two Indian cities that Mumbai and Kolkata they are among the world's worst cities to drive in. And Calgary in Canada is named the best city for driving around the world. And uh, this report is released by European Car Parts retailer Mr. Otto. So the answer is D. So according to it, two Indian cities are among uh, it, uh, among the worst uh, uh, cities to drive in, that is Mumbai and Kol uh, Kolkata. So then uh, index looked at 100 cities and measured them on three main categories that impact driving conditions from motorists, that is infrastructure, safety and costs. So these were further broken down into 15 subcategories uh, and uh, Calgary in Canada is the best city and uh, uh, followed by uh, Dubai and then another Canadian city that is Ottawa. So third and fourth position is held by Bern in Switzerland and El Paso in Texas, USA respectively. So Mumbai is placed last hundredth of the back of higher con uh, on the back of higher congestion, congestion and poor driving seat. Uh, speed and then Kolkata is uh, ranked just two sports higher that is 98. So worst cities for driving include Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, Lagos, Nigeria and Karachi in Pakistan. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements. First, Rashtriya Krishi Vikas Yojana was initiated in 2018 and allowed states to choose their own agriculture and allied sector development activities as per the district, uh, district state agriculture plan. Second is National Food Security Commission is a centrally, uh, centrally sectoral scheme launched in 2017. Third is the National Food Security Act 2013 legally entitles up to 100% of rural population and 90% of the urban population to receive subsidized food grains under the targeted public distribution system so friends obviously third statement is incorrect so obviously if there is targeted public distribution scheme and how it can be universal so third is surely incorrect so we have to choose that which of these statements are not correct so we have to choose that so all these statements are incorrect so answer is d so national food security uh, act legally entitles 75 percent of the rural population and 50 percent of the urban population to receive subsidized food 
food range so oldest woman of the household of age 18 years or above is mandated to be the head of the household for the purpose of issuing of ration cards under the act and then there is rashtriya krishi vikas yojana uh, which is uh, which was initiated in 2007 allowed states to choose their own agriculture and allied sector development activities as per the district state agriculture plan so second is statement is also incorrect so it was converted into centrally sponsored scheme in 2014-15 also with 100% resistance central resistance then there is national food security mission so it is a centrally sponsored scheme launched in 2007 so third statement is uh, incorrect and uh, more details you can read by pausing the video now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements parent body DICC DICGC is a subsidiary of Reserve Bank of India uh, second it was established in 1978 for third it is a statutory body established in deposit insurance and credit guarantee corporation Act 1961 for this its headquarters is in Mumbai so we have to choose that which of these are not correct so uh, answer is friends uh, none of them so uh, all of the all these are uh, correct uh, so deposit insurance and credit Co guarantee corporation DICGC its parent body is RBI so established in 1978 and a statutory body and headquarters are there in Mumbai so it is under the deposit insurance and credit Co guarantee corporation act so administration is by deputy deputy governor of RBI who acts as the chairman and then objective is to provide insurance of deposits and guaranteeing of credit facilities so banks insured by DGC uh, DIGC uh, DICGC is basically uh, all commercial banks local area banks regional rural banks cooperative banks and branches of foreign banks in India so more details you can read by pausing the video because it will consume a lot of time if we started discussing each and every aspect uh, so now let's move to the next question next is consider the following statements first the integrated child development service scheme providing for supplementary nutrition immunization and preschool education to the children and it was launched in 1975 second ICDS is a sanctuary sponsored scheme implemented by state governments and union territories third scheme is universal covering all districts of the country fourth its beneficiaries are children in the age group of 0 to 6 years pregnant women and lactating mother so we have to choose that which of the uh, uh, these children statements are correct so let me tell you friends that all of these statements are correct the answer is D so more details are here ICDC is basically a scheme that provides supplementary nutrition immunization and preschool education to the children uh, and it is a popular flagship program of the government so it was launched in 1975 and it is one of the world's largest uh, uh, program providing for an integrated package of services for the holistic development of the child so it is a centrally sponsored scheme implemented by state governments and union territory scheme is universal covering all the districts of the country so objective is basically to improve the nutritional and health status of the children in the age group of 0 to 6 years so basically uh, you might be aware of the fact that uh, most of the psychological development of the children takes place between the age of 3 to 6 years so obviously it will, the focus is certainly on uh, to uh, on laying the foundation for proper psychological physical and social development of the child and also to reduce the incidence of mortality morbidity malnutrition school dropout to achieve effective coordination of policy and implementation amongst various departments to promote child development so, and also to enhance the capability of the mother to look after the normal health and nutritional needs of the child through proper nutrition and health education so beneficiaries are children in the age group of 0 to 6 years and also pregnant women and lactating mothers so you can uh, check these are the six services so you can um, uh, read, read uh, more details by pausing the video so obviously it will consume a lot of time if we started discussing each and every aspect now let's move to the next question next is which ministry has launched Bharatiya portion, uh, portion Krishi course a Ministry of Science and Technology B Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare C Ministry of Women and Child Development D Ministry of Consumer Affairs Food and Dis Public Distribution so friends answer is C that is Ministry of Women and Child Development who is also uh, responsible for this implementation of this national nutrition mission so uh, uh, this union ministry has a union minister along with bill gates co-chair of bill and melinda gates foundation launched the bharatiya uh, portion krishi course in new delhi so it will be a repository of diverse crops across 128 agroclimatic zones in india that uh, for better nutritional outcomes so it aims to reduce uh, reduce malnutrition through a multi-sectoral results based framework including agriculture among women and children across the country so Ministry of Women and Child Development has collaborated with the Bill and uh, Melinda Gates Foundation for this project. So Bharatiya Poshan Krishi Kosh seeks to promote healthy dietary practices and tackle undernutrition in a sustainable manner. 
so you can read about it more in more details by pausing the video so you might also be aware of the portion of bhyan that was launched in 2018 now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statement. First, the National Community for Derivatives Exchange has launched India's first Agri Index NC DEX Agri Dex for easy reference to price variations in agricultural commodities. Second, futures trading on Agri Dex will enhance overall liquidity on the exchange platform. So we have to choose that which of these statements are correct. So let me tell you, friends, both of these statements are correct. So it has been launched with a composition of 10 leading liquid contracts on NC DEX platform at present. So leading commodities such as uh, Guash Seed. Guar gum, soybean, chana, mustard seed, and zira extra will be there in the index constituents. So it is now the uh, index is now available as indicative. So it will be made tradable after being approved from SEBI, that is Securities and Exchange Board of India. Now let's move to the next question. Next is consider the following statements. First, thalassemia is a blood disorder in which the body makes an abnormal, abnormal form or inadequate uh, amount of hemoglobin. Second, thalassemia is caused by mutations in the DNA of cells that make hemoglobin the substance in your red blood cells that carries uh, oxygen throughout your body. So which of these statements, these statements are correct? So we have to choose that. So the answer is C, both of them. So uh, it is a blood disorder in which the body makes an abnormal form or inadequate amount of hemoglobin so thalassemia is caused by mutations in the dna of cells that make uh, hemoglobin the substance in your red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout your body the mutations associated with thalassemia are passed from parents to children so this causes anemia with anemia the blood doesn't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen to your tissues leaving the person fatigued so more knowledge you can uh, read by pausing the video and now let's move to the next question next is consider the following uh, statements uh, first Kalapani is a territory disputed between India and Nepal second uh, in uh, uh, 1800 the 1816 treaty of Sagoli signed between British India and Nepal defined river Mahakali as the western border of Nepal so we have to choose that which of these statements are correct uh, let me tell you friends that nitro neither uh, are not correct so answer uh, you have to choose that uh, which of these are not correct so the answer is neither of them so both of these are correct so Nepal's western boundary with uh, India was marked out in Treaty of uh, Sagoli between East India Company and Nepal in 1816 uh, which defined the uh, river Mahakali as the western border of Nepal and Nepali authorities claimed that people living in the low density area were included in the census of Nepal until 58 years ago so statement first is correct and Nala Kalapani is a territory that is disputed between India and Nepal but in under Indian administration as part of the it, it was shown as part of Pithoragarh district in Uttarakhand state uh, so statement 2 is correct so so, uh, Nepal claims that the late King Mahendra had handed over the territory to India in the wake of India-China War of 1962. So, the Prime Ministers of the two countries discussed the issue in 2000 with Adal Vihari Vajpayee assuring the Nepal that India would not occupy even an inch of Nepal. So, five years ago, the matter was referred to a new mechanism comprising foreign secretaries of both the sides. So, Kalabani is a, a territory disputed between India and Nepal, but under Indian administration as per as part of Pathoragarh district in the Uttarakhand state. So it is marked by Kalapani river, one of the headwaters of the Kali river in Himalayas at an altitude of 3600 meters. So great sage Vyasa meditated at this place so claimed by Nepal as part of the, the Chola district. Kalapani is controlled by India's uh, indo tibetan border police since the 1962 border war with China. And now let's move to the next question. Next is la and last question of the day. Uh, consider the following statements. First, the harmonized system or simply HS is a six digit identification code developed by World Trade Organization. Second, the system helps in harmonizing of customs and trade procedures, thus reducing costs in international trade. So we have to choose that which of these statements are correct. Let me tell you friends that only one statement is correct and that is B, that is second only. So answer is B. So harmonized system or simply HS, it is a six digit identification code developed by WCO. So statement one is incorrect. The system helps in harmonizing customs and trade procedures, thus reducing the costs in the international trade. So statement two, second uh, is, uh, is correct. So more knowledge about it is that uh, WCO, that World Custom Organization, it was established in 1952 as the Customs Corporation Council. So it is an inter, uh, intergovernmental body, independent intergovernmental body whose mission is to enhance the effectiveness and efficiency of customs administration.
and uh, as the global center of customs expertise it is the only international organization with competence in customs matters and can rightly call it uh, itself the voice of international customs community so friends this is all about today's discussion if you like these questions if you like the discussion then do ensure that you like it share it with your, share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel and uh, lastly uh, let me tell you friends that we also have a telegram channel public telegram channel there we have more than 14000 students that are that follow us so here on this telegram channel we share various public resor resources for the purpose of CSE preparation so if in case you are interested in those public resources then you can join our telegram channel the link of which will also be provided in the description box so you can check the description box lastly if you have any queries doubts you can mail us at achieveies21 at gmail.com or you can contact us at 8968920720 so uh, you can also visit our website that is www.achieveies.co.in for daily current affairs uh, current affair analysis and also you can uh, subscribe to our youtube channel that is uh, shown on your screen and obviously if you are watching this video then certainly you are on our youtube youtube channel so do enjoy subscribe to it so thank you friends have a very nice day ahead